Hey everybody, David Lemon here. I just wanted to let you know that we had a deployment for Grooveblog. We have some new things that we added, improved and fixed. So let me just show you what those are. Once we head over to Grooveblog, open a blog and navigate over to the posts. We can open a post and then here if we select a piece of text for example, we now have the option to highlight the text. We added on this highlight option where you click and then just choose the color. If you would like, you can now highlight the text. If you want to remove the text color, basically the highlight, you can just select the white color. It is going to be putting it back to the white as the background color. And then once you select the text again, it will show that nothing is highlighted. Um, that's one of the new things that we added on. We also added on the ability for you to manage if you would like to hide the um, hide the date or show the date. So in case you head over to the themes and customize themes in the layout section, you can now have the option to switch the to show the dates or hide the dates. Some users would like to hide the dates on the home page on the post page as well to not show it like this and you you now have the options to turn off on each and every one of these if you if you want to have your blog to be more evergreen to not be uh, dated okay also another thing that we added is that you can now control the number of posts to show on the home page category and tag pages so if you would like to display five posts then you just leave it as a default if you want to control this one to be 10 posts so it will be um, it is not counting the featured post but one two three four five and so on so it is going to be 10 posts before the actual more posts button shows up so you can hide and show the dates you can set up the number of posts on each of these post styles and also on the category pages and the the tag pages basically so now you can see that these are the options. Once you click save, now we set up the home page to have 10 posts. We can go back and it may take some time for this to show. My suggestion is whenever you are changing something, just head over to the inspect elements or right click inspect and just do an empty cache and hard reload. This will make sure that the newest changes show up in the, in the view port over here. So once that's done, if we scroll down, we should have 10 posts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and then the more posts button shows up. This is the same thing on the category pages. If you would like to con uh, configure the, how many posts show up on the category pages, you, dis you do this from themes, customized theme options. If you navigate over to settings and then you click on the comments. We have added on a little tooltip which opens up a video for you to watch on how to actually embed Facebook comments to your Groove blog. It is a video that you can watch. It's a four minute long video Me where I where I navigate you step by step on how to create uh, a Facebook account so that you can get your uh, Facebook app ID and then how to set the number of posts and the pixels up. It's very, very short video, very easy to understand. So if you would need help setting up your comments in Groove blog, you can have a look at this one. And we also had some things fixed. Like for example, one of the fixes was when you were editing a long post, for example, and you were somewhere around here and you wanted to do some changes. Whenever you did a change, it scrolled you back up to the top automatically for no apparent reason. Now that was fixed. And also now if you are heading over to embed some of the Facebook embeds or Twitter embeds, it was giving you a scroll bar. Now that is not happening anymore. Let me just show you quickly. So now I have copied over Twitter embed and if we head over to the plus icon, we click the embed option and then we just paste in the Twitter. Usually it was giving us a little scroll bar like what you're seeing right now in the preview, but that was fixed. So all the embeds should be nicely embedded onto the, onto the blog post and should not have any more of these scroll bars. In case you find some things that are still showing up a scroll bar after you embed them, please head over to the feedback portal and report it so that we can have a look into it but that's about it ladies and gentlemen a small deployment a couple of fixes some new things but i'm 100 sure that you enjoy it in your new workflows